Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we're getting it all in Lord of the Click 2. Notice how I didn't say D instead of the CL? <laughs> That's pretty good for me. Um, although I just did, but anyway, anyway. Uh, this was developed by Huge Pixel, published by Chili Dog Interactive, and it's available for a lovely small, as usual, 419. Now this is basically the same as the first game, it's a management type game where you have to defeat the enemies by, you guessed it, clicking on various options you have available to your disposal, i.e. swordsmen, castle upgrades, archers and more. Now in a world only 6 or 7 small years ago, without cheats would have been a difficult completion, but thanks to the now famous Chili Dog interactive cheat code, this can be completed in an hour easy. So I won't show you every single level, because uh, they take around sort of Maybe 5 to 10 minutes each to complete-ish. Uh, but just the ins and outs of what to do, how to play the game while you see most achievements unlocking on screen. It is easy enough to get used to, especially when the cheat code enables you to have absolutely everything so you don't have to worry. The only thing you'll have to really wait for is you, uh, you commanding your team for an hour, which you can get on the first level simply by idling. But more on that one later. Now the rest are easily obtained, and as I said, gameplay-wise, we're looking at around half hour. Um, it's full... For the full 1000 and platinum, it's one hour. So, put in this cheat code. Up, up, down, down, up, up, right, left, left, right. And then Y or triangle on the PlayStation. And then what should happen when you press new game and go into the first level. I also forgot to say my thing. So, with that being said then, let's begin. <laughs> so, anyway, this is um, every screen. There's a level, uh, 11 levels. So, we have to complete all 11 levels. Now basically, as you can see, everything, every time you click on something on the left hand side, that basically sends out swordsmen, um, the lightning will uh, strike the enemy dead, and yours as well, the, the snowflake there, uh, that just slows the enemy down for a couple of seconds or so, but everything on the right you can see like a sheep and a castle and everything, they are basically upgrades. So what I would do, or what I would personally do then in each level is just upgrade everything that you can on the right hand side there first, buy everything you can, everything's unlimited, so once again you're not having to worry or anything, and then just keep sending out your archers and your swordsmen and everything like that. So like I said, as soon as the, um, the enemy camp is defeated, and they decide the screen is at the very right hand side, there we go, we win, so you will get an achievement basically for completing every single level. Uh, they do pop up eventually, there we go. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so this is just what you've got to do then. So, again, what I'm just going to be showing you then is basically what I do in every single one. So that's up upgrading absolutely everything, sending out as many archers and swordsmen and everything as you can. Um, so you've got a small time limit on... Certain things, but not too many. Um, and I do get there eventually in terms of upgrading all the castles. Because you need everything, a lot of things upgraded to be able to unlock certain swordsmen and certain whatevers a bit later on. So, yeah, like I said, there's no rush. Um, you know, you literally won't. Or you can't lose. There is an achievement for losing, eventually, but, you know, we'll come to that one a little bit later on. For now, what we could do is just get used to the game and enjoy all 11 levels. So you should begin, or should by now, start having a pretty strong foothold of what to do. Like I said, we're just going to smash up all the upgrades on the right until all the boxes on the right hand side disappear. Um, as you can see, we're getting there eventually. Um, the the cooldown period and the timing is easy on them anyway, and then we can just start smashing everyone out. Um, but basically we end up completing this one. Um, now again, all the levels are basically the same, so there's nothing new in every level that I'm going to show you, um, only until 
in terms of achievements. You may get some new swordsmen and everything like that, as you'll be able to see. Um, but basically, this is now level 6. This is the first time that we can fully upgrade absolutely everything that is at our disposal. Because we've got all upgrades available on the right. So, smash, 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 smash. If you need the enemies to uh, nip off a bit, of course, by now you should have the clock there. Of uh, the middle. And that transports all the enemies back. If you need them anyway. But just keep, again, smashing up all the upgrades. Boppity bop, boppity bop. God damn, wouldn't it be awesome to have some unlimited money in our life? Oh, one day. Anyway, so with everything done on the right-hand side, we should now get the fully <laughs> equipped achievements. That's for purchasing all upgrades during a battle. Which, again, to tell you what, it would make whatever country uh, that has war in it at the minute, that would definitely make it a lot easier, wouldn't it? Um, but basically, what we can also do now is also use these spiky rolling balls, which are now available. Um, and they get um, available from level 6, so we need to basically throw 20 of these spiky big balls. <laughs> Luckily, they're not blue balls. I mean, they might as well be if they're that big. But still, um, so we're just going to upgrade, like I said, always upgrade everything that you can. Keep smashing everyone out. Um... And then, and like I said, it's only the spiky ball only becomes available when you upgrade the castle to a certain level. So you might as well just do it all, smash it all out, and then just keep chucking the ball out. That is going to get us another achievement then. There it is. So we need to be rolling that ball 20 times to get the Boldum Away achievement. Um, so again, you could just keep spamming that as soon as it is available. Otherwise, you can just crack on as normal, whichever way you think you can get this level done a lot quicker and we just skipped on to the next few levels then because level 10 is the first time that we can now use the big golems or build the golems now these golems basically are big as you would expect golems so again we need to upgrade everything that we can so we can get it available and it's like a big statue stone head uh, just to the left of these, uh, where we are with the upgrades at the minute. Uh, but we basically just need to build 10 of these. Again, the cooldown period is literally no time at all. So once you get everything up, you can then start building said golems. So literally, like I said, time down, cooldown is no time at all. So you can just keep spamming them until the achievement here unlocks. And to be honest, just building all these golems makes it the shortest, quickest route possible to destroy absolutely everything. I mean, these golems go through enemies just about the same speed as an Indian meal goes through you. So, I mean, that's pretty quick. Um, but with that, that's level 10 then. So, now we can just go ahead and complete the last level. And then there'll be a couple of few easy miscellaneous ones left to do. Uh, but there's nothing else to do in this level apart from win it. And that will be the game basically complete. Uh, but of course, we will be missing out on quite a few achievements. I don't think that we're quite done yet, but we are almost done. So what we're going to do is basically lose a match. So as you can see there, we've got to play the two-player mode up to ten times. But you don't need a second controller, so don't worry about that. So what we're going to do is lose first. So I'd stick with level 11 personally. And then what all you need to do is just leave it completely idle. You don't have to do an absolute ting, but this can take... Around five or six, maybe seven, maybe seven and a half. You know what, maybe even eight minutes to complete. Uh, but again, you don't have to do anything. So you can literally, you know, you can go and take the world's biggest dump right now. And uh, you, you'll probably come back to them still fighting. Uh, so yeah, just leave everything idle. And eventually, these little wiener bags, these faceless wiener bags will win. Come on, wiener bags. And these chubby little demons, which, uh, man, they look like your own personal hell. Which I suppose for some people would be a real turn on, weirdly enough. Anyway, so we've won that one. Now, we can either do the two player mode, which is very easy enough, or we can just do a lot and a little bit more idling. So for me, personally, I unlock the 30 minutes commander here, and that is for commanding our forces for 30 minutes. So what I would do then. I basically go for the 60 minute one now and again we go to level 1 and then what we do is once again we do absolutely nothing because there won't be that many enemies coming out and it, basically the screen's going to stay around halfway in between anyway so um, one quick word of advice that I will tell you which I forgot 
Um, from here, I would count, if you've, if you've already got the half hour achievement unlocked, have a look at the clock and then sort of write it down because you actually need to finish the level in order for the achievement to unlock. So it took me around 45 minutes of wondering why it wasn't unlocking and <laughs> because I'm a stupid mongo. I actually forgot to finish the level, so it took me 15 minutes longer than usual. Uh, but that's what I would do anyway, so make a note of when you started on the level, and then as soon as the half hour comes up, or the hour, whatever it is that you're doing, then you know that you'll be able to finish the level, and that should be that. So then all we've got to do then is the two-player stuff, which again is as easy as pie. Luckily for us this time, there is no clicking button 7,777 times or whatever the hell that ridiculous ass achievement was so there we go that's delicious right then so now we can just press b to go back we've got the general for an hour which is just I mean, that's just as pointless as clicking the button for seven thousand times but busy yep yeah, so head back and like i said this is all we got to do so play two play mode once three five and ten times so all we got to do is just keep spamming the a button and what that does then is send out different forces, again, swordsmen, archers, big boys, juggernauts, whatever. Uh, just keep spamming that out until you win, and that's all you have to do is that ten times. You have to win ten times, so it takes about a minute each time to do that, so you're only looking at about ten minutes to finish it off. But eventually, life will be golden nuggets for you, and it will be that. Oh, there we go then guys and gals that was Lord of the Dick click 2 <coughs> I almost made the mistake um, so what did you think of the game enjoyable not enjoyable fantastic and fantastic well let me know in the comments below anyway um, but either way hopefully you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed enjoyed the game hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well uh, don't forget of course to like comment subscribe and share with a friend if you did find it helpful. Also, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as well, if you ever so wish to check me out on any of those. Uh, big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, absolute legends. And shout out to everyone who continues to interact with the channel, regardless of whatever. So, big thank you to everyone. And, well, that one being done, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love. <laughs>